Morning. Pancakes are perfect this time. Babe? Are you okay? What's wrong? I love you. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Go back to bed. I'm just making some breakfast. <laughs> like I could go to sleep after the smell of Jenner's coffee. So, uh, I see you still know your way around the kitchen. What's happening? Uh, hey, babe. Morning. Um, I, um, was thinking that we could have breakfast together, right? Hey everybody, coming in hot, we got our first trailer for the Flash Arrow Elseworlds crossover. Oliver wakes up in Barry and Iris's loft. Iris wakes him, calls him Barry Allen, says she made perfect pancakes so you know something's up, and proceeds to plant a fat one right on his lips. And the whole time, Oliver has that look on his face of horror like, what the hell is going on here? We're doing a new round of the Flash Ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment about the trailer on the video. Mostly freaking out about what's going on, just like Oliver. But the footage and the way Iris talks, the things that she says, gives you all the clues you need to understand what the mechanics are of them body swapping. Because in this version of reality, our Earth-1 Oliver Queen's mind is the same. You can tell from the look on his face, he knows he's not in the right place. Like, why am I in Barry's loft and why is his wife kissing me? This isn't Wife Swap Elseworlds edition. But he's got Barry's powers as the Flash, and it's as if his entire life has been swapped for Barry's. So everyone else on Earth-1 thinks that he is Barry Allen. So this twisty Oliver version of Barry grew up in the same house with Iris. The same thing happened. His mother was murdered by the reverse Flash. But as I said, the big Easter egg here and the reason why I tacked that pancake scene on is because we learned a couple episodes ago that Iris is a terrible cook. Nora even tells us that in the future, 30 plus years, she still can't cook pancakes. What are you, what are you doing? Uh, I am just getting evidence that you make lumpy pancakes in every time period. <clears throat> Let's try it out. So part of the fun of watching the crossover is just seeing what's different in this new version of reality. But it's the same deal for Earth-1 Barry. He's probably now waking up either in prison, maybe, or maybe Oliver gets out of prison on the Arrow TV show before the crossover, so that when Barry wakes up in Oliver's place, it's the same scenario. It's Felicity planting a fat one on his lips saying, all right, what are we going to go do today? And him just freaking out like, why is Felicity kissing me? What's going on? One of the biggest questions that people were asking the producers when they first announced this was going to be Elseworlds, because that title is very important, was whether or not it would be canon to what's happening in the Arrowverse, or if these episodes for the crossover would just be set in a different universe so they didn't need to address the continuity of what's going on each week on the shows this year. Mark Guggenheim revealed this is canon, so this is Earth-1 Oliver and Earth-1 Barry that people are messing with. A good example of comic book Elseworlds is Gotham by Gaslight. They just turned that into an animated movie. It's basically the story of Batman done during the time of Jack the Ripper in Victorian London. The stars of the show have been referring to it as a Freaky Friday situation, but I don't know if that means that when Oliver looks into a mirror at himself, he sees Barry or if he looks like this all the time. The cause of the switch seems like it's most likely the special book we've seen black suit Superman reading from before all the heroes try to snatch it away from him and fight him down. We'll probably get some of those scenes in one of the future crossover trailers. Like the trailer says, it's not coming for several weeks, so there'll be a bunch more trailers for this. But we've already seen a poster of the Monitor holding that special book. So maybe this is a scenario where black suit Superman steals it from him 
it seems like it has Nora's special Speed Force symbols in it, but there's also some other writing that looks a little Kryptonian, so maybe the Monitor just has a book that holds the power to rewrite the multiverse in reality and Black Suit Superman lost his Lois Lane or something terrible happened in his universe and he wants to change it, so that serves as the motivation for why you would want to switch reality. Like this isn't just somebody having fun because this Black Suit Superman seems like the most hardcore version of Superman we've ever seen on the TV show. If you've never read Crisis on Infinite Earths or you've never read Infinite Crisis, which was sort of the big event after that, you have one character or a group of characters in some cases trying to rewrite the multiverse to bring back something that they lost from their reality. There's that initial scene from The Flash that I'll play in a second from episode one this season where they refer to Nora's future newspaper. You see all this text referring to Psycho Pirate and all these characters from the original Crisis on Infinite Earths. You never come back. How old are you when it happened? So it seems like that's the event that they're building up towards in a future season, but because we have the monitor and we have all these wide ranging consequences, it seems like we're going there faster than we ever thought. For every reaction, there has to be some equal and opposite reaction. So monitor existing means that the anti-monitor exists in the antimatter universe. Hopefully we'll get a teaser for that at the end of this, but that's still speculation right now. They said that it's going to get really weird, there'll be crazy comic book easter eggs, like the 90s version of Barry Allen. We don't know where he comes from, if he's from a different universe, or if because Black Suit Superman is rewriting reality, this is just him rewriting this version of Jay Garrick, or he rewrites something else and the butterfly effect is the reason why all these other things are changing. So it's not really clear if he's targeting Barry and Oliver and switching them specifically or if he's changed something else about reality and Barry and Oliver switching places in their lives and timelines is just a consequence of that. We know that Lois Lane and regular Superman from Earth 38 are big characters. We go there, we've seen scenes on the Kent farm. Remember, big Easter egg is that they're filming the Kent farm scenes on the same Kent farm that they used for the Smallville TV show. So it doesn't totally canonize Smallville, but it's like the next closest thing you could get without actually having Tom Welling show up in a Superman suit. We haven't seen any footage of her, but Stephen Amell's wife in real life is playing Nora Freeze. And obviously the other big thing happening in all this that we haven't seen footage of yet is them introducing the Batwoman character. The Gotham that she is from, like these are the sets that they've shot for that. It looks really run down, things have gone to crap. So wherever she's from, maybe something terrible happened in that universe and that's where Black Suit Superman is from. Like maybe he and Superman never came together. Maybe it's like a darkest timeline, Batman v Superman prehistory situation, but it definitely seems like he's going to be the backdoor villain of this crossover. Unless there's someone in the shadows pulling the strings that created the circumstances that led Superman to make these choices. We have seen pictures of two different versions of Superman going at each other, so it does seem like our Tyler Hecklin Earth 38 Superman is a different character from the black suit Superman. So that's why I think he's from a darkest timeline scenario universe. But what'll happen is, is because Stan Lee passed away and I wanted to do the memorial video, I'm behind on Arrow and that other stuff, so I probably won't do an Arrow episode video this week. I'll leave all your requests in the comments below. Ragdoll is coming to the Flash episode and there was a Ryan Reynolds Detective Pikachu trailer that dropped. And obviously because of all the stuff with Stan Lee happened today, I had to push that. But leave all your requests in the comments below. Click here for my Stanley Memorial video and click here for my last big flash trailer. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.